Aquarius, welcome to your general reading. Please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest, because these energies are very fluidic. Okay. So, without further ado, this is for the sign of my lovely Aquarians. What are you up to? What are you up to? What's going on for the sign of Aquarius? Get one more shuffle. Well, it would seem you're heading towards your happy, happiness, Aquarius. Okay, you are leaving the past behind. Okay, you're trying to do it with a lot of respect, a lot of comfort. Okay, you're trying to make it easier on yourself. Okay, which is not a problem for me. <laughs> okay. And by that I mean, you know, it's there's nothing wrong in that. You know, it's... Trying to leave a situation or leave somebody behind with as least fuss as possible. I'm kind of getting as well as protecting yourself. You're protecting the situation, the person that you're leaving behind. Okay, there has been a, a situation where there has been a lot of emotion involved. It's been very, very intensive. But you're kind of moving on from that. All right, what I'm getting is the underlying energy is incoming communication. Okay, releasing a stuck situation. You are not sure about this communication at all. Whoever it's coming from, you're not sure about their intentions. Okay, because at the moment or recently, they're, they're not giving much away. They've been thinking about it. Okay, there is some issues here to be resolved. It's kind of like the energy between you and somebody is more or less coming into equilibrium. It's coming into a very balanced state. The tension arises in leaving the situation you're physically in behind, okay? Because the energy in the past has been gaining, okay? And it's leading to a point where you will make a recognisable decision in your life and actually act on it. Okay. There is new feelings. I'm kind of getting that your actions or your communication has kind of convinced somebody. Okay. That you mean what you say. All right. There is a lot of stress around this. There's a lot of trust issues to be resolved, but... I'm kind of getting they can't be resolved till you actually talk. For some of you, there's no communication at all. There's a lot in the thought process here. But there is genuine love here, Aquarius. Okay, wow. The overall energy is one of stability, achieving your goals. I'm kind of getting here, there has been a lot of convincing action or there will be a lot of convincing action take place. All right, you have got two tens here, that's 20. All right, this is making a judgment call. This is making a life-changing decision. All right, and it's all about renewal. Both with inside you and both within the relationship or the situation that you're dealing with. There is the six of cups here, okay, in the near future. And here you've got another ten. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, right, things turning in your favour. Your life is about to go in a direction that you hadn't entirely planned for. All right, I'm kind of getting you had a lot of ideas and a lot of creativity on the way you think it should go. It, it, I'm kind of getting that this relationship is going to go forward for a lot of you, but not how you think. OK, so it's kind of like be open to change here because there's things outside your control. There's things outside your influence. OK, that's happening. All right. I'm getting here that you are heading towards in 2024 a very much more relaxed 
state, state of mind. All right. You, yes, I know this seven of swords and this eight of swords are here at the moment, but I'm kind of getting that's diminishing. All right. You know, you kind of taking your own feelings into consideration here. All right. And there perhaps is a bit of coercement or somebody trying to hold you back. Somebody, I'm kind of getting this, somebody trying to coerce you into not leaving. Okay. But hmm, I'm getting that you're pretty adamant with this Aquarius. Yeah, there is a new love in your life. Okay. And it's letting go of the old. You've got a tower moment here. There's going to be some surprising developments. And with this and this together, okay, you can't possibly see the developments coming. All you can do is kind of be open to the change coming. All right, there is a rev revocable change. But what you can do is control the way you react to it. All right. But your present situation is changing in some form or an another. Okay, it's, I'm kind of getting it's going to release this stuck energy. You are in, you could well be looking after somebody, okay, a parent, or, you know, there's some kind of parental issue here. Okay, I'm kind of getting here that there is new love being brought into the situation, but what most of all with this Empress Aquarius, I'm getting that you are very, very much becoming self aware. Okay, see, there is communication coming in. All right. And it does enable you to work a way forward. You've got the Six of Swords here. For some of you, there is travel here. I'm getting here for one or two of you, a distance relationship. OK, the energy between you is the Seven of Nine of Wands. OK, you've had a few setbacks. And there's possibly going through a setback now. All right. Delays, etc. You know, a clash of personalities. There's to get to where you want to be, Aquarius. I'm kind of getting that it's not going to be without confrontation. It's not going to be without its challenges. You know, I try to read as honestly as I can. My readings, I just say what I see. You know, there's no favoritism here. OK, I'm a fellow Aquarian, so I see it as it is. And this is not going to be without its challenges. OK, you're not going to obtain this Ten of Cups energy without confrontation I'm kind of getting you're not going to get it without a little bit of maybe let's just say very very passionate conversations okay but once you pass through that I'm kind of getting that uh, there is new love in your life okay this could be, be because the six of cups here dealing with the ex okay but I'm kind of getting all the way through this reading. You've been hiding inner feelings. You've been keeping your thoughts to yourself. Okay. It's time for revelations. It's time for the mask to come off. Okay. And a true revelation of feelings. A very, very honest conversation taking place here. All right, Aquarius. Mm, there you are. King of Swords, making logical, experienced, intuitive decisions. Very, very honest communication. Okay. I'm kind of getting the, the truth is finally coming out. And this is working towards you as well as away from you. Okay. But most of all, yeah, two of cups. Some of you could be dealing with a soulmate. All right. Now, from my perspective, other tarot readers might tell you different, but from my perspective, all right, soulmates will come into your life when it's the right time. Nothing you can do about it. You can't bring it forward. You can't, well, you can delay it a little bit, but the inevitable, sooner or later, there will be a coming together. And I'm kind of getting in this particular case, Aquarius, it's, well... Yeah, it's going to be a very, very passionate exchange. Okay. I'm picking up a real sense of relief here. Because for a very, very long time, you've been kind of struggling and fighting. Okay. You're both in the energy now that it's, yes, it's not going to come without complications, but 
it's kind of what we're fighting for. So the feelings between you two is, you know, developing very, very quickly. You know, you've got the world card in the past. You know, you perhaps traveled to see this person or, you know, but what I'm getting in general, for some of you, there was a distance relationship. It was brought to a closure. It enabled changes and thoughts to take place and a new beginning to take place here. Yeah. There is the nine of swords here. All right. So things are advancing. Okay. Your mental attitude is changing. It's becoming much more secure. Some of you are very stressed and afraid, but that's, I'm kind of getting that will pass. It's going to take a long time, but there is this forgiving energy between you two. Not forgetting the past, but forgiving it. Mm, which leads to a fresh start. All right. It's not a question of jumping in, but it's a question of excitement. It's a question of making a big decision here. Okay. And, you know, making your move. All right. It, there was a stagnant situation, but that's going to come come to an end here. So you're going from the four to the five of cups. I'm getting you're leaving a particular situation. All right, but there's new love developed here. And, you know, this five of cups to me is, yes, it could lead to a loss. It could lead to a change of lifestyles. Okay, leaving somebody behind. But, you know, this is all about you can't help your feelings. This is one of those times where, you know, you've just got to follow your feelings, I'm getting. All right, you can't choose who you're falling in love with. You can't choose who your loyalties actually belong to. You can't choose who you give, give your art to. It, it's just there, you know, and nobody can take that away from you. But it's going to take an awful lot of courage and strength, continuity, willpower. Once you instigate this, kind of getting, you're going to have to follow it through. All right. But the mask, it's got to come off. All right, somebody's wearing a mask here. Somebody's portraying an image to the world that's not their real self. And this to me is, you know, quite difficult, but it is achievable in this particular case. There you go, Aquarius. We've got lots of different energies here. Okay. You've got Scorpio energy, you've got Leo energy. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting here, you know, cup energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Scorpio in particular. But don't get too hooked up on particular star signs. These this tarot cards to me show the traits of the action, the decisions. All right. All star signs carry their traits. Thank you very much for watching.